When I'm filming outdoors in natural light, my favorite way to use natural sunlight is to backlight. I like to backlight because I feel that it gives your footage more depth and gives it more visual interest. It's my go-to way to light when I'm filming in natural sunlight. Backlighting will help level up your footage, especially if you're filming in a very simple or maybe boring location. By using backlighting, it'll add more depth and as I said, more visual interest to what you're filming. So what is backlighting? Backlighting is essentially any light source that comes from behind the subject or slightly off towards the side. So essentially you're placing placing the subject in between the light source and the camera. So you're placing them in the middle. This could be sunlight, it could be artificial light, but the main key to backlighting is that it's light that comes from behind or slightly towards the side of your subject. It's never light that is directly in front of your subject. Now, the reason why backlighting is so important is that it allows there to be separation between the background and your subject. Also allows there to be a lot more contrast in the footage when you're filming using backlight. It also makes what you're filming more dynamic as you get more pockets of light. When you're filming with light, whether it's artificial or natural light, if that light source is coming from the front, it makes the image a little bit more flat and it looks less dynamic than having backlighting or lighting that comes from the side as you're creating more of a flatter image. Backlighting allows your footage to have a lot more shadows, different pockets of light. So once again, I keep using this word, but adds more visual interest to what you're filming. So the other week, there was a couple of days where it was quite sunny and just, I decided as I was out and about, I'd have my camera on me just to capture a few things here and there, nothing too special. But on these two occasions, I filmed a few bits just trying to give examples of how I would use backlighting, especially in a run and gun situation. Let's say you don't have any assistance or maybe you don't have anyone helping you out of like a reflector or anything to help diffuse the sunlight. So in the clips, you're gonna see examples whereby I filmed in more harsher sunlight. This would have probably been about one or two o'clock during the daytime and there's others where I'm filming closer to the sunset and so this was about between like seven and eight. Okay, so for example, if we take this clip here, you can see that she's backlit. The sunlight is coming from behind her in this direction. Because the sunlight is coming from behind her, it's allowing there to be separation between her and the background. And the sunlight is giving her an edge light. It's adding more depth and dimension to the shot by having her backlit. If we take this shot, here for example all I've done is she still stood in the same position and I've just moved the camera round to the other side but as you can see in this shot that she's although she's very well lit you can see that there's very little contrast in the shot because the light is very flat and it does I don't think this looks as visually interesting as the other shot because there's not a lot of separation between her and the background because of the light coming from the front, it's making everything look quite flat. There's less visual interest in this shot to me. If you compare the two, you can see there's differences within the shot. I feel this is a much more visually pleasing shot. This is another shot that's been backlit as well. And what I really like about this is you're getting more visual interest. You're getting sun flares, which I really like when it hits the camera, it, it adds more depth. And I think just makes the image look much more pleasing. Um, whereby if I take this other shot, which was similar position, I just spun around and filmed it from the side where the sunlight was coming. As you can see, same with the other shot. You can see that although she's well exposed, once again, it's a much more flatter image and you're not getting as much visual interest and as much depth if you were filming with the sunlight towards the back of her. So it's, my, it's really one of my favorite ways to film, especially when you're filming outdoors in natural light, when you're just doing run and gun work. It allows you to create much more pleasing visuals when you're filming in this way. Another way I really love to use backlighting is during golden hour. So as you can see in this example here, what I really love about when you're using backlighting in golden hour is the way that the sun creates separation between the subject and the background and how it creates that backlight on the subject it's just so visually pleasing it's like if i'm filming in golden hour i'm always going to shoot this way as you can see in this example here you're getting sun flares you're getting separation there's more dynamism to the footage because the light is coming from the back and it's creating pockets of light from light to dark and it's creating a lot of contrast and it, I really love shooting in this way. This was from footage from when I was filming um, a short little mini doc on black roller skaters in London. And as you can see in this shot here, she's backlit. I really like the edge light that's created from the sun coming from behind her. 
it really makes the footage pop when you film in golden hour in this way. And as I mentioned before, when backlighting doesn't necessarily mean the light has to come 100% from behind the subject. Backlighting can be achieved similarly by having the light come slightly off and towards the side. You still can get shots whereby if you're, use, you're not backlighting, you'll still get good shots. Backlighting is such an easy way to create visual interest within your shots. It creates depth within your footage. And it's also very simple to use, especially when you're filming outdoors and you're using natural light. It's so easy. You just place your subject in between the camera and the light source, which would be the sun. And it's gonna give you a much more visually pleasing shot. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about backlighting, just in case some of you guys have never used that technique in your videos. I thought it'd be a good time just to talk about that. So I hope you took something from this video and enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you guys are using this method in your footage or any other methods you guys are using to add visual interest to your shots, especially when filming with natural light outdoors. Be glad to know um, how you guys are going about doing this. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.